at the Lower Ossington Theatre downtown right now. I'm here with a friend. Hi! <laughs> meet her here. We are so excited because we are going to be watching this today. It's Avenue Q. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this is the stage. Our seats are great. And that is the theatre behind us. It's pretty small and intimate, but this is what we like and this is how we roll. <laughs> so we are going to check in with you a little bit later because I doubt they're going to want me recording any part of this show. <laughs> and I'd like to keep my vlog camera. So until after the show, we'll see you in a bit. So we are at our 15 minute intermission and Anita was just telling me about what she thought uh, of the play. And you were saying that you really liked <laughs> the characters. You did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little camera shy, it's okay. <laughs> Takes some getting used to. Um, but yeah, this intermission is just, I don't think, long enough. There are still a lot of people missing from the theater. The show is really good. My knees are a little achy. Well, it's okay. <laughs> we'll make this work. Um, if you haven't seen it already, go check out Avenue Q. It is so much fun. We're at the Christmas market downtown. This is so cool. There's Adina! <laughs> and look at the Christmas tree, you're right, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh, guys, you gotta come check this out, this is so pretty! Most of the vendors are closed, as you can see. <laughs> Hershey's anyone? <laughs> Well, imagine if that really was chocolate, eh? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't be there still. Do you see how mischievous I look? Because I would totally <laughs> eat all of that. Right? <laughs> I want to find Santa here. <laughs> Ooh, Montreal poutine. Regular poutine. It's a Canadian thing. What else do we have? All these lights. I wish the vendors were open right now. Yeah. That would be really cool. That would be really nice. It's pretty chilly if you guys uh, can't see our breath in the air right now. It's pretty fucking cold. <laughs> but look at the Christmas tree. Hang on a second, guys. Look at that bad boy. All right, guys, because it's so cold, I'm just gonna show you the Christmas tree real fast. It's pretty, it's huge. It looks like there's a show that happens over there. All right, you saw it. We're leaving now. It's really, really cold. <laughs> so I've made it back home now. It was just too cold to stay outside any longer. And I'm sorry I can't talk any louder right now. I don't want to wake anybody up in the house. But before coming home and prior actually to going to the Christmas market with Anita, I did end up going to this Cuban restaurant just outside of the theater that we were at. It is called La Cubana and I picked up one of their pressed Cubano sandwiches and I am so excited to eat this bad boy. So I'm gonna crack this open and I am going to share with you this magnificent experience because God knows for whatever reason, I have been craving a Cubano sandwich. All right, are we ready for this? Are we ready? Okay, we're doing this. So mind you, I picked this up about, I'd say, an hour and a half ago now, so it's probably a little bit cold, but we'll see how delicious it is. So it's actually, it's huge. I wasn't expecting this size of the sandwich, but oh my God, I can't wait. Oh, you guys gotta check this out. That is the sandwich and it smells so good. So inside you've got ham, cheese, there's some onions in there, mayo and mustard, and it's pressed with lots of butter. It's golden perfection. So this is what my late snack is going to be tonight. So I really don't like onions, so I'm actually going to pull those out. Um, let's see. Oh. I don't see any onions in this, but I do see pickles. So, are we ready? Mm. Oh my God. 
Mm. Oh yeah. This is so good. I am going to indulge in this sandwich right now and then I'm gonna go straight to bed. <laughs> So that was my Saturday, guys. It was going to the theater, checking out the Christmas market in downtown Toronto, and now eating this beautiful Cuban sandwich. Um, I'm gonna end the night here, and I will continue on tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Sunday night. As you can see, my mom is just sitting there reading. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> and I just had to show you guys this because Look at what has happened outside right now. There is so much snow that's fallen. It's insane. And it just keeps going. I think we're supposed to get close to 10 centimeters, which is absolutely nuts. But oh, whatever. It means we're going to be stuck inside a little bit longer. And because we're stuck inside, it means... Oh, look who's standing by the fridge. <laughs> always hungry <laughs> my dad um but being stuck inside means we get to put up the christmas tree <laughs> this makes me so happy i love doing the christmas tree because it's such a fun time and you get to decorate it any way you want there is no right or wrong way and you get to put on your favorite christmas movies which means I am watching, sorry for my ghetto setup there, uh, I am watching The Santa Claus. Oh yeah, Christmas tradition. I am gonna continue getting all of those ornaments out and I will start putting them up on the tree, but as you can see, at least it's up. So I've got all of my ornaments in this little box here and I just, I love how every ornament really has a story and I try to buy a new one each year and it just reminds me of a certain time in my life and in my family's life so yeah that's it we're just gonna get all of these onto here does anybody else remember making these macaroni ornaments I remember making this when I was in I believe grade three maybe grade four <laughs> I still have my name on it good old-fashioned Demetra um, I made the macaroni ornament we got it spray painted gold Ugh, if this would focus spray painted it gold and I've had it ever since and you know what every year I put this bad boy up on the tree because hey those are memories I now have the Christmas tree up and this is what it looks like I am so happy with it I love all of these little ornaments. I love how it sparkles. Of course, the star. Just looks so good. This makes me ridiculously happy. It is definitely feeling a lot more like Christmas right now. I actually can't wait because I'll also be off work for almost two weeks, which is a huge bonus. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and I guess that's it for the weekend vlog. There hasn't really been much else that I've done except some errands, switching out my snow tires, and doing some cleaning around the house. For now, I'm going to kick back and I'm going to watch the rest of the Santa Claus because it's tradition, man. We got to. When I wake up, I'm getting a cat skin. Anyways. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful, and I will see you in the next weekend vlog. Bye, guys.